One of my favorite things I used to love doing was watching horror movies oh. and then judging people when they made stupid decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. I watch horror movies, I wait for people to make stupid decisions, and then when they die, I'm like, you deserved it. <laughs> Never makes sense. Never. You know, be someone being chased with like a guy in a mask and he's got a knife, right? The guy's walking, the person runs through their car, they always fumble with the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. What are you doing? What are you doing? If someone's chasing you with a knife and you get to a car, don't bother getting in, it's a waste of time. All you do is just run to the side of the car. And then you wait. They go that way, you go this way. Oh, you, know, you go this way. Yeah, we can do this shit all day. <laughs> people make the dumbest decisions in horror movies. I don't get it. My favorite is when people just have to hide. That's all they have to do. They just yeah. have to hide and shut up. Yeah. <laughs> For an hour and a half, they can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> like in that movie, A Quiet Place. Have you watched that? One of my yeah. favorite movies of all time. Yeah? The one where the aliens, they don't see anything. They just, they just use echolocation to figure out where everyone is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. There's always the people hiding in the shed. Just there, like... <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be quiet, you can just chill. You don't have to be there, chilling. You have to be sitting there playing Xbox quietly. No. <laughs> There's always that baby. <laughs> <laughs> And there'll always be the moment where you can see the monster's given up. You know? The moment where the monster's like... <laughs> and just as it's about to leave, just as it's about to go, there's always one idiot, one idiot who jumps up like, I can't take it anymore! Come get me! Ah, Dead. You deserved it. <laughs> because I never got it, right? I never understood. Why? All you have to do is wait. You just stay inside for long enough and the danger will subside. Why can't you do it? Why is it so hard to just stay inside? And then the pandemic hit. I was like, ah, oh, now I get it. Ah, oh, because we all hit our breaking point. Pandemic made people crazy. I thought we were all gonna come together. That's what I believed. From all the movies I watched as a kid, I thought if humans were ever threatened with an existential threat, we would abandon every single fight we were having and we would come together to win. You know? I thought if that virus came, we'd all be there, we'd be like, all right, no more racism, no more sexism, let's do this together. And we'd go and we'd defeat the enemy aliens and then we'd come back and be like, all right, let's get back to the racism and sexism. Yeah. It's like an independence day, that's what happened, remember? Yeah, that's what I grew up watching. Everyone in the world came together to fight the aliens. We stopped all of our, there was no politics, there was no nothing, we unified and we won. And then in real life, what did we do? We fought each other and we lost. We were supposed to be a team. Will Smith was supposed to be our hero. <laughs> we gonna bring up that. Oh, no. <laughs> None of it went as planned. I wonder if that's how the dinosaurs went out, you know? Maybe they just, they just couldn't agree on anything. Maybe some warned the others. They were like, there's an asteroid! There's an asteroid coming down to Earth! And the dinosaurs were like, asteroids are not real! <laughs> it's a hoax! <laughs> and rocks smashed into the planet. <laughs> Dust covered the globe. 
All the dinosaurs were running around in panic. Ah, the dust is everywhere. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. T Rex was like, I can't. <laughs> oh, T Rex. <laughs> You know what's so crazy is, I thought the pandemic was gonna ravage Africa the worst. Yeah, I, I, I won't lie, I was terrified. I was terrified for the African continent. You know, my whole life I'd seen, whenever there was a virus that broke out in the world, if it got to Africa, we got it the worst. I remember when it started spreading around the globe, I was, you know, I was getting ready for it. My friends from home were calling me on the phone, they're like, Trevor, Trevor, are you seeing what's happening with coronavirus, my man? Are you seeing it? I was like, yeah, I'm seeing it, man. They're like, what do you think is going to happen? I was like, oh, man, you guys are screwed, man. Uh -oh. like, yeah, you guys. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in America, baby. Oh. I made the right choices in life. <laughs> Turns out it was the other way around. Pound for pound, Africa did better than any other continent in handling the disease. <laughs> Shocked everyone. What was even wilder was this. When Ebola was happening in Africa, the news always made it seem like it was Africans' fault for having Ebola. Right? Every time you'd watch the news, there was always a subtle level of blame that was happening in the news reports, right? They didn't, didn't humanize the people. It would always be someone random on like Sky or on the BBC. They'd be standing there. There'd be dead bodies piled up behind them. They'd be like, Sarah, I'm standing here in West Africa, where as you can see behind me, the bodies of Ebola victims are piling up. Many European scientists are asking if, unfortunately, these Africans have themselves to blame. They've been refusing the advice of the World Health Organization, not understanding the importance of distancing from each other during this time. And it appears that they only have themselves to blame. Dylan Pan, BBC, back to you in the studio. And I would watch this and I'd be like, no, Africans, why do we do this to ourselves? Why, Africa? Why? Why do we love doing this to ourselves? Why do we like kissing monkeys? The lips are so sexy. And then when COVID came, Africans used everything they had learned from every virus that they had to fight without the help of the West, and they dealt with it better than any other continent. Didn't get credit, by the way. Everyone made it seem like it was luck. That's where the world is lucky that Africans aren't spiteful. Yeah. Africans aren't spiteful people. Because I would have given anything to just see one African news anchor come out and be like, Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the African News Network. <laughs> Tonight, we are covering the ongoing coronavirus pandemic that is ravaging the Western world. <laughs> Many African scientists are asking if these people do not have themselves to blame. Oh. <laughs> Many of them have refused the advice of the World Health Organization, completely ignoring the social distancing methods. Some of them have even had to be shown how to wash their own hands. <laughs> Savages. <laughs> It appears what has been increasing the severity of this problem is the fact that some of them do not even want to wear masks across their face saying, quote, I cannot breathe through this piece of cloth. This is commonly known by scientists as bitch ass lungs oh. syndrome. <laughs> Back to you in the stereo. <laughs> I would have given anything to see that. One of the biggest side effects of COVID that I didn't expect is how stupid it would make human beings. Yeah, if there's one thing coronavirus did, it taught me how many of my friends are absolute idiots. Everyone studied at the University of Facebook. Everyone's a scientist. Everyone had a conspiracy theory. You know what happened here? The government did this. Oh, the government did this? Yeah, the government did this. Why? To control us. You, you thought this gave them control? You think governments wanted this? Wh which, which do you think gives a government more control? A population that goes to work, 
earns money, buys things that they can't really afford, so get into debt, so they have to go back to work, do more of the thing they don't really like, to get more money to pay the debt for the thing that they didn't really need, for the thing that they didn't need to afford, to get more money to go to the job, for the thing they don't like, for the thing that they didn't need to buy, to get the loan, for the money, for the thing that they didn't want, to get into more debt, to get the thing that they don't want, to go to the job, that they don't need, for the money. For... Which do you think gives them more control, that? Or everyone just sitting at home with free money thinking about life? Everyone just sitting at home like, how come a weekend's only two days? <laughs> it's a government's worst nightmare. Conspiracies were stupid. And here's the thing, I'm not against conspiracy theories, right? Please understand that. I actually like a good conspiracy theory. In fact, I think everybody should hold one. I think in your life, you should hold at least one good conspiracy theory. Yeah, keeps you on your toes. Don't just trust everything everyone tells you. You gotta have one. Like mine, my personal favorite, I believe that gluten is concentrated white privilege. Concentrated <laughs> <laughs> too. You know I'm right. <laughs> oh my God.